We're here at the Stickley Museum in Fayetteville, New York. In the early 20th century, the Stickley brothers and the furniture they made changed the way American consumers thought about furnishing their homes. They created a more casual and distinctly American idea of what furniture should look like. Mike Daniel is a Stickley historian and he's here to tell us all about the legacy of this fine furniture. So Mike, who were the Stickley brothers and how did they come to create this furniture? The five Stickley brothers, uh, Gustav, uh, Leopold, John George, Albert, and Charles. Between the five brothers and the four different companies, there's all sorts of Stickley furniture that's out there. And when they started making furniture, there was a huge transition that was going on in America. People were getting tired of a lot of the ornate Victorian furniture. And it was Gustav Stickley who decided, you know what, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do something unique. So now along comes arts and crafts furniture and it embodied everything that you believed about what America was and what America was gonna become. What makes Stickley unique? I think the thing that most people look at is they see something that's simple in form there's a heaviness and a massiveness that's usually coming to mind. But when people start looking at some of the finer designs, like the work of Harvey Ellis, who worked for Gustav Stickley, or Peter Hansen, who worked for Leopold Stickley, they start to see things that are not so heavy. They're, they're more stylized and more modern looking. And I think that's what grabs a lot of people's attention. Ultimately, what Gustav Stickley was able to do was he was able to translate how much value you got from buying his furniture. And we've seen such a, an amazing transformation happen between this factory and ultimately what we have here as our museum. I, I love the collection. We've got some really great and iconic pieces. Uh, and I always say every object has a story to tell and there are lots of stories to tell here. And it's fun to share those stories with the public. We also have a really great building. This was the original factory. So I'm surrounded by history every day and it's fun to come into work and see that and share that with others. So 115 years later, Stickley is still going strong. Mike, how have the designs changed over the years? We've changed the designs based on the uh, capacity that we have today in a 20th century factory. And what we chose to do was not to create a uh, reproduction of an original Stickley piece, because that would have caused havoc in, in the collector community. We needed to make a piece that was called, we'll call it a reissue. We have come up with new ways to build furniture better. So instead of building the furniture with the old-fashioned dowel joints that unfortunately are only held by glue or using a drawer that just simply rides on its bottom and has no side guide. So what we chose to do was take the uh, rails that come across here and instead of dowel them, we use a blind dovetail cross rail. The drawer construction was improved by fitting the drawer on the bottom much better with a center guide and installing the uh, side guide so the drawer never touches bottom. We continue to do the, the quadrilinear post that Leopold Stickley did. So he did it in his factory, we do it in our factory today. And these craftspeople take all sorts of uh, pains to create an absolutely beautiful object. I love working with it. Well, for 34 years, I must love it. We're all very proud of it because we know it's gonna last an eternity. It's put together with a lot of care and a lot of love and a lot of pride. So let's talk about more contemporary designs. Are your designs changing with the times? It's amazing how many pieces of arts and crafts furniture work in a modern room setting. The prairie settle, uh, some of Harvey Ellis's desks, and some of the pieces made by Charles Limbert. And you saw those pieces today, you would think that you're looking at a 21st century piece of furniture. People can find Stickley on our website, stickley.com, and you'll be guided to one of our Stickley authorized dealers. In this time of do-it-yourself and throw-it-away furniture, choosing the quality and comfort of good craftsmanship is the ultimate in personal luxury. It feels like home to me.